guys, today we've been challenged by our friends JJ and Mikey to build the most secure house ever. Ooh, secure house. I'm sure that my secure house will be the best secure house, Mongo. But there's a catch. JJ and Mikey will both judge our builds at the end to see whose one is more secure. The person with the better base will win. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Who should I help? Well, I know that I'm going to win, Axie. So why don't you go and help Mongo since he's such a noob? Wait, what, Wudo? I'm definitely going to win. And JJ and Mikey will like my build better than yours. So good luck, Wudo. Good luck. Ha, you'll never be able to beat me, Mongo. Mikey and JJ will love my build. Do you really think Wudo's face is going to be that good? Don't worry, Axie. I have a few tricks up my sleeve to make sure we win this build battle. First of all, what I'm going to do is go into the creative menu and search up my magical wooden axe. Whoa, the magical axe. I remember that. That's right, Axie. And then what I'm going to do is get some iron blocks because that's what our base is going to be made out of. That sounds pretty secure, Mongo. I don't know how Wudo could beat that. Exactly. Look, I placed an iron block there. Then I'm going to place another iron block over here and I'm going to build up. And now I just need to select these two blocks and just run one simple command to make walls out of iron blocks. Okay, I know the magic axe is good, but whoa, it can really create walls out of nothing? Yup, that's how amazing it is. And it's definitely going to make sure we win this build battle. But check it out. Now that we have our walls, we should start out by building our first few defenses, Axie. What do you think? I think we should have pig warriors. Wait, what? Pig warriors? That's not that helpful, Axie. What I think we should have is some lava. All I have to do is just select this block over here and go all the way to the corner to this side, Axie. And then just do one simple command that says slash slash set air and boom. Now we have empty space that we can put the lava in. Whoa. Okay, I guess that is a pretty good defense, but mine's gonna be even better. Are you still talking about your pig warriors, Axie? Look how scary they look, Mongo. What's a good name to give to a scary pig? Well, I don't really know because pigs aren't that scary in the first place. They're friendly mobs, and I'm pretty sure JJ and Mikey will probably laugh at us if we have some pigs in our base. Wait, but they're like as tall as me when I'm crouching. They're huge and terrifying. Well, Axie, you're a little short. That means they're tall to you, but to us normal humans, they're super tiny. Hey, I'm not short. I'm a very tall axolotl, okay? Okay, whatever you tell yourself, Axie. But come on, I'm gonna do this command next to make it even easier. I'm gonna do slash slash set lava and look, we have even more lava now, Axie. Just don't burn my pigs. Don't worry, your pigs will be fine. They're not getting in the way. I just need to do this command one more time and we'll be done with our lava mode. Mago, you're killing my pig. Oh gosh, did they get in the way? It's not their fault that they walked over where you were using the magic axe. Oh no, Axie, I'm sorry about that, but it's time for us to move on to our next line of defense. What do you say? Okay, well we have pigs, so what's even scarier? How about cats? No, Axie, cows aren't scary either. We shouldn't be spawning in mobs. They could get really hurt by our secure base. So come on, I say we add something called lasers. Lasers? What's that? I've never heard of a laser. Well, if you take a look over here, Axie, I can just place down two of them and you'll see how effective they are. Look, whenever you go through them, you're gonna get really hurt. So don't try it. <sighs> How can a tiny red beam hurt you so much? Well, it was designed to be super secure. That's why. Okay, I'm just gonna stay far away with my pigs. Come on, Axie. Can you help me place down a few of them? Uh, I'd rather just stay over here. Axie, are you really that scared of lasers? Yeah. Well, I'm not really designing them to hurt you, silly. Ah! Oh, gosh, Axie, we don't even have that much time, but it's whatever. I guess I'll place them down myself. Check it out. I just need to keep building them around our base, and we'll be more than fine. Okay, I am fortifying the pig defenses. 
pigs. Wait, what? Don't place any more pigs down, Axie. We're gonna run out of space to build in. No, it'll be fine. Trust me. Everyone who wants to attack this place will run scared when they see them. Okay, if you say so, Axie. But I think I have a better job for you. Okay, what is it, Mongo? How about you go spy on Wudo and tell me if his base looks super secure and if it looks better than ours or not so we know if we need to slow down or keep working hard. Aww. Is it really okay for me to spy on him? Come on, he won't find out. You're super small. Okay, Mongo, I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna keep placing on the lasers while you do that, Axie. And there you go. The lasers are now done around the base. Whoa, they look super scary and they're super effective. Mongo! I finished spying on Wudo and you're not gonna believe what I saw. Wait, really, Axie? Where are you right now? Over here, Mongo. I went to his side and his base is super secure there's even a sign that says how secure it is wait really that doesn't sound too good it really seems like he's gonna win the build battle right now but Axie, i have faith in us come on let's just work super hard to make our build even better than his okay what do we have to do mongo well Axie, right now we have some lasers and a lava mode but we should probably start working on the inside of our base and also we should create some kind of secret entrance a secret entrance that's so smart so it's gonna be like a trap exactly look at the front of the base what i'm gonna do is have two doors but they're not gonna be any doors Axie. they're gonna be keypad doors which means there's a password to get in with both of them okay is the password gonna be one two three four no silly that password is way too short what i'm gonna do is just put a bunch of numbers so wudo isn't even able to guess and so we don't even remember what the password is uh problem if we don't remember what the password is well that's the thing axie we're not supposed to know what the password is this is just a fake door the real entrance is actually gonna be behind over here oh so then Wudo will waste all his time trying passwords. Exactly. Look, back here is where the real doors will be, but he won't know straight away because we're going to be using something called a ghost block. A ghost block? Wait, how did the block die? No, the block didn't die, silly. It's called a ghost block because it's a ghost. Look, you can go through it and it's invisible. Whoa, no one will ever see this coming. Exactly. And it looks just like iron blocks. So JJ and Mikey and also Wudo will We'll never be able to tell where the real entrance is. Mongo, what if we forget where the real entrance is and then we look stupid trying to go through every block? Oh, you're right, Axie. We should have some kind of hint so we remember, right? Yeah, maybe like a big sign that says real entrance here. No, that would kind of defeat the whole purpose of the invisible door. What we should do is have a super subtle sign. So what I'm going to do is get red blocks over here. But these red blocks actually look just a tiny bit different from the wall check it out do you see the difference a little bit that's pretty smart mongo exactly so when we see these red blocks we can go through and we'll know that this is the real entrance well now that we're inside the base what do we put in here well what we can do is create a maze inside of the base to make it even harder even harder we're gonna put even more traps yes of course the outside isn't gonna be the only part that's secure silly the inside also needs to be super secure oh i see what you mean okay what can i do to help well you can help me build the maze of course look i just placed down the first wall of the maze so whenever they come through the door over here they're gonna be met with this big wall and a bunch of other walls that they're gonna have to complete hey mongo what if we made the maze impossible and added more ghost blocks well we could do that axie but we need to be a bit fair don't you think uh, okay look i'm adding a bunch of iron walls which means we can create a bunch of dead ends and confuse jj and mikey wait what trying to confuse jj and mikey if the bases are for jj and mikey well that's the thing it needs to be super secure and this is how we're making a super secure silly oh okay but i don't think i'm gonna be able to find my way through this maze don't worry axie i'll create a secret way for us to complete the maze Ooh, okay mongo can it involve more pigs sure axie it can but check it out i just included all the walls for the maze and now we just need to break all the blocks in between and we'll have a perfect maze check it out let me just break this block over here another one over here can you help me break them so it just completely leads to dead ends okay let 
let me do this and then this and well actually this maze looks really confusing but what i'm gonna do is add some more tricks inside of it to confuse them like what mongo what could we possibly add well actually i'm gonna be adding things like cobwebs around so it slows them down during the maze that's so mean mongo they'll never get out of the cobwebs well if they're patient enough they'll be able to complete it actually look this maze is already hard enough but the cobweb is gonna make it even harder look how slow i am i'm gonna add some pigs to confuse them even more and by add i mean just drop the ones from outside in here oh great idea Axie. but now that we're complete with this mini maze we should have an actual exit to go through and what i'm thinking is we have the exit on this side all the way in the corner yeah but mongo i'm still gonna get confused by the maze we need another way in okay axie if you're gonna get confused then i'm probably gonna get confused too so what we should do is add another way in from the outside what do you think okay but it should be fun and cool exactly axie so come on what we should do is start digging underground wait that's not fun and cool yes it is axie don't worry the fun part will come in just one second can you help me build an underground tunnel okay all I need to do is just keep breaking this, and then when we're inside of the base, we can stop. Wait, Mongo, I think the hole is over here. Oh, great job, Axie. This is where the maze stops. So come on. Now all we need to do is make this tunnel a little bit more fun. What do you say? How do we make a tunnel more fun? Oh, can we add mud? No, mud isn't going to make it any more fun, silly. Look, I'm going to add some railroads, and we're going to have a roller coaster down here. Ooh. Roller coasters are meant to go above the ground, silly. Yeah, but they can also be underground. Look, we're just doing this so JJ and Mikey have to complete the maze, but we can just skip through it. Okay, I see your point. Hurry up, Mongo. I want to do the next part. Okay, okay. Hold on, Axie. Look, all the railroads are paced down. All I need to do now is just get some redstone to power them. Redstone? Oh, I'm super good at redstone. Look, Axie. We just placed on all of it, and now we can go through. We. Whee! And whenever we go through, we can just go up here and we'll set up a secret ladder system. A secret ladder system? But won't people just see the hole in the ground? No, it's fine, Axie, because guess what? What, Mongo? What we're gonna do is get a secret trap door, which means this red block right here is solid, but when we right-click it, we can go through. Check it out. Whoa, I never even exactly that's why it's genius but come on i'm gonna finish off this tunnel by adding a few more decorations let me just add some stairs over here and then at the entrance of the secret tunnel what i need to do is place more of those secret red blocks that we had earlier you do that mongo i'm making the base super cozy okay axie i'll see what you're talking about in just one second let me just add them as ghost blocks so we can jump down and go through our mine carts and we'll be officially inside but now that i'm done with that we need to keep working on the inside axie what are you adding right now and wait what what is that i'm adding my own little corner where i can uh sleep in the mud axie we can't have mud inside of the super secure base it's not helping it be any more secure yes it is apparently humans don't like mud so they will probably stay away from it okay axie instead of mud we should add something super amazing that can be the ultimate prize if someone is able to go through this entire secure house like a cake or two cakes oh we can add some cake axie but i was thinking more like golden ores and also diamond ores diamond ores <gasps> you're gonna give people diamond ores why don't you just give them all to me well axie it's only fair if they're going through this whole impossible secure house they're gonna need a prize so come on let's just place down a bunch of diamonds and gold everywhere and you can place down your cake okay but maybe i don't want to give my cake to other people i just want to eat it alone wait well axie that's a little mean come on add a few cakes and hold on a second this is a normal cake silly what kind of cake is this mm, i think it's made of mud but i don't really know oh gosh axie we can't give mud cake come on let me just search of cake over here what i'm gonna do is give them golden cakes over here oh but that doesn't taste as good as mud cake no golden cake is really amazing because it's made out of gold okay humans are so weird sometimes i don't know axie i guess humans aren't really used to the axolotl lifestyle well that 
that just means axolotls are better. Don't you agree, Mongo? Sure, Axie. I guess we can agree to that. But come on, this part of the house is still empty. What do you think we should add here? Well, I don't think the maze was hard enough. You should add something super cool and dangerous. Super cool and dangerous? <gasps> that gives me an idea, Axie. We should work with lava again. More lava? Come on, Mongo. I know you can think of something more creative than that. Don't worry, Axie. It's not just normal lava. It'll be something even more dangerous. Extra hot lava? Yeah, something like that. Just give me one second. I need to build out a huge hole. Could you please help me? Okay. Can't you use your magic axe? Oh, you're right. How silly am I? I can use it here. Let me go over here and just dig a hole by doing this command right here. And boom, now we have a hole in the middle. Let me just get this pig out before you burn him. Yeah, well, there's another pig over here here maybe we should make it so there's a door or something so they can't go through anymore okay i'm gonna put a door right now hey pig get back in there come on piggies it's too dangerous for you to be out here but come on axie now that we have a huge hole let's add the rest of the lava okay i'm gonna put lava everywhere oh i think i put it outside by accident oh no that's not good axie let me just remove that and we can continue placing the rest of the lava inside of the hole and there you go with all the lava a place there we can start building the parkour oh so that's what we're doing parkour exactly parkour is super duper hard on its own but whenever you add in lava with it it becomes two times harder i don't know if i can do the parkour mongo it's okay axie like always i'll have a secret way for us to complete it oh you're so smart i should have known yeah but this parkour won't be any normal parkour axie i'm gonna be having some super hard jumps in between are you gonna make it impossible well if it's impossible they won't be able to complete it but i'll make it near impossible axie look i just placed down some iron bars and these things are super skinny so they're super hard to jump on top of i see i think wudo could never beat this parkour he's definitely gonna fall exactly that's why it's super hard Axie, but come on what i'm gonna do is actually add a ladder jump over here and this one is gonna be even harder look they're gonna have to go from the skinny iron bar to this ladder and if they fall they're gonna hit the lava but mongo look the sides are still open anyone can just walk around the parkour oh you're right Axie. so come on let me get my axe real quick and we can just make giant walls so they can't complete it check it out i just need to do this command right here and now we have some giant walls and they won't be able to skip the parkour wow that's perfect mongo now they have to do the evil ladder jump exactly but axie you forgot we still need to have our secret way of completing it oh yeah how about we just cheat and fly over it no axie i have an even better idea check it out i just need to go over here and get this block right here axie and with this block i just need to place it down over here and guess what happens um you made a wall no it's not just a regular wall silly if you go inside, you can actually climb up it. Whoa, what kind of block is that? It's a ladder ghost block, which means it's a ghost block, but it also works as a ladder. That's so cool, Mongo. Okay, what do we make now? Well, I think the inside of our base is pretty much complete, but the outside still looks a little bit newbie. So come on, let's add some final defenses and we'll be all done. Okay, Mongo. So we have lava and lasers and pigs. What could we possibly add? Well, Axie, I have two great ideas. All we need to do is get some cactus and also some mines. Oh, I see. Because they'll want to go hug the cactus and then they'll get prickled all over. Exactly, Axie. So come on, let's add some cactus. And oh gosh, I forgot. You can't put cactus on wool blocks. So what we're going to need to do is get some sand. Are you going to use your magic axe? No, for this one, we're going to have to place down all of the cactus manually. So can you please help me out by breaking these blocks? Okay. There you go. We just need to do a zigzag pattern over here. And then we can place down the cactus afterwards. Words. My hands are getting tired, Mongo. I know, Axie, but this will be worth it. Don't worry. Okay, I'm trusting you. This better be better than my pigs. Let me just place the rest of them over here. And now I can place down the cactus and make them super tall, Axie. Check it out. How well, you can make them as tall as you want, Axie. I'm gonna make them about two feet tall. That's a lot of feet. I think that's taller than I am. Oh, it's definitely taller than you, Axie. I think you're only like one feet tall. What? I'm definitely more than one foot. 
foot tall. Well, you could try standing by the cactus and it'll tell you how tall you are. Okay, maybe I will. But I'm just finishing the sand on this side first. Great job, Axie. This is a lot of help. I just need to keep placing down all the cactus and we'll be done. And there you go. I have now placed down all of the cactus, Axie. Doesn't it look amazing? Yep. I am definitely taller than this small cactus, which means I'm more than one foot tall. Wait a second. I think you're about the same height, Axie. What? I'm definitely taller. You're lying to me. Okay, then how about we let the viewers decide? Everyone comment if you think Axie is taller than the cactus or not. Comment that I am. Okay, Axie. With that being done, we can start placing down our mines that I was talking about earlier. That's so Mongo. Yup, it is. Check it out. I'm gonna place down some TNT. And the thing is, this TNT is exactly the same color as the wool, so you can barely see it. That's true. So it'll go off if you step on it? Exactly, Axie. You're so smart. That's what's gonna happen if anyone dares to come to our secure base. I don't know if I want to blow Woodle up. Well, we do need to try to make the base as secure as possible. And right now, Axie, it looks really cool. It does look a lot better. The cactuses look really cool. Yup, but Axie, come on. Let's just finish some final decorations of the house itself and we'll be all done. What I'm gonna do is get the magical axe and put a roof on our secure house. I just need to come over here to the middle of the base and then do this command right here, Axie. Check it out. Whoa, how did you create a whole pyramid well i use the command to create it and now we have a giant diamond pyramid here it looks amazing on top of the house hey you just locked me in wait what axie come on get out okay are we finally done can we show wudo yes i think the base is pretty much complete but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be way better than wudo's i can't wait to see his reaction i don't know his base looked pretty secure when i was over there okay come on axie let's go to his side oh wudo are you done with your build? Oh, hey there, Mongo. Heck yeah, I'm done. Check it out. This is my ultra secure base. As you can tell by the giant sign that says secure and a big arrow pointing down to my secure base. It must be so secure if he has a sign. That is kind of true, Axie, but his base is made out of dirt. That's not secure at all. Oh, come on, Mongo. You won't even be able to make it to the dirt if you can't get past my security. Wait a second, Wudo. This is your security? But I just realized you spelled security wrong. That is the correct way, Mongo, because this isn't security. It's security. I don't really understand what that means. Well, try and mess with them. You want to see what happens, Axie? Okay, Wudo. Why don't you try hitting them? Oh, okay, sure. All I need to do is just, um, you know, just go up to him very nicely and say, uh, hello, Mr. Security. How are you? You know, what's going on? And oh, gosh, he's looking at me kind of angrily. Oh, um, Muro, I think your security is a little dumb. So I'm going to move on and wait a second. What is this, Muro? Well, this is water parkour, Mongo, except it has one dangerous thing if you miss a jump. Puffer fish. Wait, what? Puffer fish are super dangerous. I love eating puffer fish. Um, 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 come here. Wait a second. Axie likes eating them. No, Axie, get that thing away from me. Come on, Mongo. Just take a little bite. You'll love it. Axie, that puffer fish is literally the size of your head. I don't know if that's worth you doing. It's delicious, Woodo. You should know as a fellow sea creature. Well, I don't know about that, guys. They're super poisonous, so I'd rather avoid them. Yeah, Mongo. Come on over to the next challenge I have. You might have been able to get past the parkour, but you you won't get past my fire maze. <laughs> a fire maze? I don't want to go through a fire maze. Oh, gosh, Wudo, you're scaring Axie. Okay, you know what, Axie? It's fine. Come on, let me carry you real quick, and we can go through this together. Oh, you burned me. I'm sorry, Axie. Hold on. Let me just take you to the end over here, and look, we made it. Yay. I'm so glad. Or actually, boo, I'm not glad you guys made it. Hey. You wanted me to get burned to a cooked axolotl. That's not very nice of you. I wonder how cooked axolotl tastes. Wait, what, Wudo? Your base hasn't been that secure so far. We've been able to complete it pretty fast. Well, you won't be able to get past this, Mongo. This is a giant dropper. We 
where you need to avoid these huge cobwebs and land in the water at the bottom with the rest of my turtle family. Turtles! I love eating turtles! Wait, what? No! Don't eat turtles! Um, come here, come here! The cobwebs aren't really that huge, Wooda. Look, we already made it down here. Oh, gosh. How are you guys so good? I always get stuck inside them. Wooda, how do you like your turtles cooked? I don't like them cooked at all. Okay, guys. Well, we made it to the end, and the secret vault has dirt and emeralds. Really, Wudo? Oh, yeah. I'm glad you figured out that this is my vault, Mongo. What do you say? I think this is quite the valuable collection, if I I do say so myself. Well, our secure base is kind of better. And JJ and Mikey will think the same, Wudo. So come on, let's go to my one. Boo, no, they won't. Well, Wudo, check it out. This is our secure base. Whoa, this secure base looks gigantic. But it's not as elegant as my base, though. Wait, what, Wudo? Your base was made out of dirt. Our one is made out of iron and diamonds. But look, we have so many traps around. Are you really gonna be able to go through all of these dirt and all of this TNT? I'm sure I can, Mongo. Let's see. I just have to walk across the TNT and oh, the TNT doesn't do anything, Mongo? Really? Oh gosh, Axie, I think we forgot to place down the pressure plates. What, Mongo? I trusted you. That's not secure at all, guys. But anyways, let's see. It appears there are some cacti in front of me, but you you guys trim the cacti right over here, which means that I can jump over it. <laughs> what? How did he get in? Whoa, I didn't know Wudo was this smart. Looks like you guys forgot a couple of things. Huh, I guess your security is really easy to bypass. Oh, yeah? Well, you'll never figure out how to get inside the base. Yeah, let's see if you can get past the lasers, Mr. Smart Guy. Oh, gosh. Lasers are low-key kind of scary, but it shouldn't be too hard to get past. All I need to do is just jump through this big gaping hole you put in the middle and boom, I am untouched by lasers. All right, now it looks like I have this really, really big lava moat in front of me. Yeah, can you jump through it? Jump through it? Ha, I don't need to jump through anything, Mongo. I'll just go put a boat on the other side because I always keep a boat handy with me and I'll go click it. Goodbye, Wudo. What? No. Did you just burn my boat? Oh, gosh. Well, in that case, I guess I have to just try and jump across with my turtle leg powers in three, two, one. Run! And I made it. How did you make it? Whoa, Wudo, you actually did it. Yeah, of course I did. But what exactly is this over here? Is this the entrance? Yup, it is, Wudo. And it's a keypad door. Can you guess the password? I'm gonna put in one, two, three, four. Because Mongo's passwords are always so easy. And wait a second. Why does that password not work? Well, Wudo, you know what? I'll save you the headache. You're never gonna guess the password. It's a bunch of random letters. Not even and Mongo knows the password. Are you serious? But wait a second. I'm looking through the little window in the door and I can't even see anything in there. <gasps> I know what this must be. This must be a fake entrance. Exactly, Wudo. You finally got it. But now where could the real entrance be? Hmm, let's see. The real entrance has to be somewhere. Otherwise, how'd you get inside the base? Hmm, is there anything over here? No. Hold on a second. My nose is picking up some scents over here. Maybe I need to run back this way and smell the wall a little bit. Wait, what? You can smell the wall, Wudo? <gasps> Wait a second, guys. Why is this wall able to be walked into? That's not a normal wall. What kind of sorcery is this? Better question. Why can you smell the wall? Don't worry about it. It's one of my amazing turtle powers, and it's helped me get inside your guys' secure base, which means it must not be that secure. <laughs> well, Wudo, there was actually another way in with the roller coaster, but you weren't able to find that, so you have to complete this maze. A maze? Oh, no. I'm not that good with mazes. I just have to be really careful, though. And maybe I 
can make it inside. And uh, by the way, why are there so many pigs in here? Aren't they scary? No, they're not scary at all. But you know what is scary? The fact that I made it to the end of your guys' trash little maze. Okay, Woodo. Well, then can you get past this parkour area over here? Ooh, parkour. This looks like fun. Let me just jump onto here. Go onto these. And oh, oh gosh, that was really scary. That was literally one little strand of metal that I was standing on top of. I could have burnt to a crisp. Hey, Woodo, what if I just smack you off? No! Don't smack me, please. Oh, 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 gosh, I was literally so close. Did you see my foot touch the lava there? Yeah, great job, Woodo. Since you completed the parkour, it means you get all the treasure inside of our secret vault. Yeah. Let's go! And wait a second. Is that golden cake? Yum! Yeah, it is, Wudo. But you did complete my secret base. And I think it's unfair if I say your base wasn't good either. So how about we let the viewers decide? That's right. Everyone comment that Wudo won this secure base challenge. No, comment Mongo's base if you think my base was better than Wudo's. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on the screen and don't forget to subscribe bye, bye.